Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 2017 general reading. We shall see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these for you, but we're going to go a little bit here. This is for Capricorn, September 2017. So the first card is the King of Swords, then we have the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. <clears throat> so we have some kind of excitement, which is kind of good with the Page of Wands. This is an exciting new discovery. Um, something that challenges you, but um, is exciting, okay? So we have something exciting. You know, it might be a little scary, though. I feel like you might be a little worried about it, whatever it is. And it might have something to do with your emotions. Um, there's, It's causing, you know, maybe you are feeling very um, connected to somebody and it's very exciting, you know. But then again, it's a little bit scary. So uh, over here we have an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... This is also somebody who is very to the point. So this could this could be an energy that you are taking on. It's somebody who is has is having very clear thinking. So you could be thinking very clearly at this time. But over here, you know, you're feeling a lot because there's excitement right here. But the, and there's emotions right here and there's worry right here. So there's like contemplation right here, you know, thoughts, over an overload of thoughts going on. So it's, it's interesting. We'll get some more. Here we have the Knight of Wands. This is a fat, this is an act now kind of guy. He acts be, he acts before he thinks. Okay, maybe he's acting on impulse. Okay, and he's not really thinking about consequences too much. Um, I see that there's a lot something that needs to be let go of. There's something that is probably weighing you down. Um, it, maybe it has to do with finances. Now this is a general reading, so some of this may or may not resonate. Whatever it is, it is. This is you, the King of Pentacles, and you might be having some emotional feelings towards somebody, um, and it's causing a lot of excitement within you. Um, I see that with the Ace of Pen Pentacles, I'm trying to go too fast, it's about new beginnings on a physical level, okay? It could have something to do with a new career, could have a new security, could... Maybe you have been working on something and it's starting to manifest and it's causing you to feel very excited. Um, that four of swords up there, I think, you know, this is something that you have been worried about. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you didn't think it was ever going to happen. You're definitely letting go of something because here we have you letting go, feeling like a victim and letting go again. So there's something that you're letting go of and it could have something to do with your career, something that's holding you back in hopes of something new, you know, because I see something new starting for you. Um, yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely letting go of something. Okay, or wanting to letting go. And maybe you already have. Maybe you did it impulsively. Maybe you let go of something and now you're feeling, um, you're worried about it, worried about the outcome. You know, maybe you already did let go of something and now you're worried about your stability. Um, maybe you just walked away. It could be a job or you're thinking about walking away. But then again, you know that you have responsibilities and you can't. 
but you have excitement ahead of you. you know, okay, we, we have a, an exciting new opportunity ahead of you that I think that you are worried about. But I think that this is a blockage. So, oh gosh. This is listening to your inner guide. Okay, you really need to listen to your inner guide and follow your path. This person follows his own path. He's not listening to anybody else. He's following his path because he knows his path. He knows what the right thing is to do for him. Okay? Well, it looks really, really good. It looks like whatever choice that you make is the right one. Okay, I have some very positive cards here. In the end, you are going to be very abundant. So whatever you have been doing is coming to fruition, whereas in the fact you're starting to feel happy, you're starting to feel very good about yourself, you're starting to shine, you're starting to glow, you're, you're, the things that you have created are finally coming to fruition. I, th I see that you have made some things change. Okay, I see that you have grown some um some seeds okay or you're planting some seeds right now either way that you have a lot of excitement in you this month and you're looking for something more uh, i think it's a very fertile time for you meaning that whatever you plant has potential to grow very quickly so consider whatever consider this month a very fertile month and sometimes you have to um let go of something that's holding you back from planting anew. So I see you taking action, Capricorn, taking action, releasing what is holding you back, um, moving forward, walking away from something and not, not turning back, leaving something behind completely, not turning back. Okay, and when you do that, it brings back your beauty within. And this is for a man or a woman. It heals your soul. You start to find peace again. You start to feel abundant. You start to feel happy because you're seriously leaving something behind. And when you do that, your excitement comes back because we have an exciting new discovery right here. Something exciting happens that you basically manifested by leaving something behind. You took action. You manifested it. Okay, and you're following your own path, something you've been waiting for is no longer way out of sight. It's actually in the distance. Okay, it could have something to do with love. Okay, because this is a welling of emotion, a new one. Okay, also pay attention to your dreams. The Ace of Cups says vivid dreams. So pay attention to your dreams at this time and your inner guide. You may be getting messages through your dreams, but you really need to listen to your inner guide because it's been talking to you, all right? And you need to listen. That card comes up when it's, you really need to listen to yourself, all right? Hold on. Are you listening? That's why his hand is up. Are you even listening to yourself? That's what the question is, okay? A blissful, happy a time is ahead of you. It is. So it looks like it's a really good month. I think that you have taken action. I think that you're going to be letting some things go that no longer serve you. You're taking back control. You're releasing any, any limitations. You're seriously leaving something behind that was making you feel like, you know, you were being victimized. Maybe you're no longer feeling like a victim. You realize and you're like, you know what? I'm letting that shit go. I'm moving on. Happiness is ahead of you. It is. Um, there's probably going to be a little bit of challenges with that page of wands. He has a lot of excitement. He's not really thinking about the challenging. He's moving forward. And I think that's what you're doing. You are moving forward. Whatever, you know, no matter what, you're not staying stuck there. You're acting on your hunches, and you're ready for something new. You're ready for the next phase. I'm telling you what, 
good luck is on the way. There's no doubt about it. I think this is a great month for you where you're feeling on top of it and that, you know, there's it's a good month. It's a really, really good month where things that you have been waiting for might finally be in the distance. I think things will happen very quickly. I think some, there's some fast moving energy. Um, you're going to be letting go of something. You're probably, all of a sudden, it will come to your mind. You'll realize it's the truth. It's time to let go. And you'll, boom, get rid of it. I think you will. All right. <laughs> you're definitely getting rid of something. You realized it was broken. You don't want it anymore. It's over. Okay. It's long gone. It's time to let it go. This right here, the Four of Wands, this is about content, harmony, bliss again. It's on the horizon. Okay, I think you're feeling very hopeful this month, and I think that you're starting to be excited for the future. Your intuition is right on. I think whatever secrets there were, there are no more. Okay, so this is when secrets be revealed. All right, because you already knew. This with the High Priest, your intuition is spot on. It's like there are no secrets with you. Okay? You know something has to go so that your life will change. And it could just be something you are emotionally connected to. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm sure we have a lot more, but I really wasn't paying attention. Um, what's this? This is the fire signs. Libra. Oh, no, Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either way, good luck is in the on the horizon for the month of September. It looks like a very good month where there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of high energy. There's um, making practical decisions and feeling very comfortable. I think there's some changes ahead. I think that you're letting something go that has been holding you back and causing you worry. Um, I see there's happiness. healing and hope. I think it's a very good month. I am going to do a love reading for September 1st through the 15th and September 15th through the end of the month as well because I didn't intend these to be love readings. I am going to get one of my wisdom oracle cards, win uh, whatever they are, uh, vintage wisdom oracle cards for you. See what they have to say. You know, you could have a new job on the horizon, something new that excites you and pays more money. Could. Could get a raise. Discernment. We're going to get one of these whispers of love. And then I'm going to focus it in. Treasure your loved ones. Interesting. Sorry, I should have zoomed that in a long time ago, but I'm terrible about that. Discernment. Depicted here is an adaption of the three wise monkeys, replaced by three vintage geishas. Their gestures characterize the famous proverb, proverb, speak no evil, see no evil, and hear no evil. Our sense organs can lead us astray from our goals and best intentions, or aid us in getting to the truth of a situation. The discernment card heralds an opportunity for powerful growth and expansion, and the need for raised awareness. Examine the facts, draw on any relevant wisdom learned from the past experience, and listen to your intuition. 
Now is the time to examine the bare truth before moving forward and for being mindful of any possible consequences of thoughts, deeds, and actions. Three, three spheres, the zodiac, compass, and world crown, each geisha, suggesting variety in favorable circumstances for significant advancement. I see that. But this forward motion depends on the quality of wisdom underlying your powers of discernment. The crow in the far distance indicate an omen of approaching change. In shamanic practice, crow medicine is called upon to aid in clarity of vision and personal transformation. Guard against scattering your energies at this time and know that mighty and know the mighty ally of discernment is a critical is as critical to your survival along the spiritual path as on the physical plane. There are not many worldly laws to protect the human heart as it ventures into the unseen realms of the spiritual psyche, yet the perils are just as real, if not greater, precisely because of their intangible nature. The sovereignty of the spiritual domain rests with our own wise counsel in the natural laws of cause and effect. Wise discernment is key to effective integration of spiritual principles in our daily lives and well worthy of the time, effort, and patience needed to cultivate it. Interesting. Treasure your loved ones. I'm going to read that one too. It's pretty self-explanatory, but... It is important to love others deeply. We have a group of people in our lives that love and support us. Cherish these people, whether it is a special partner, your family, or your friends. The angels are prompting you that you need to reach out to your loved ones and make sure you show them love. Well, that's a good message, isn't it? The angels are prompting you that you need to reach out to your loved ones and make sure you show them love. That's a great message. September 2017 for Capricorn. Better get on the horn. <laughs>